Welcome back my gardening friends. Well, it's uh, time to get a few more uh, jobs done and my first job is to get the uh, tomatoes out of there into that bucket so that I overwinter them and hopefully they'll uh, germinate next year and we'll have some trailing tomatoes to use. So I'll get that done. I've got a bit of my potato spent compost in there. I'm just going to take the top layer off. get that labelled up, ready for uh, overwintering in the polytunnel. The main reason today is so I can get the uh, broad beans out. They're uh, desperate to get out now and we've got some really cold weather coming next weekend so these have been hardened off a little bit and they'll harden off in the ground after today. So my intentions are to now get rid of uh, these here and the broad beans will go here but my intentions this time are to do the trench method so I'm going to be using some of the leaf mould and sticks in the bottom and then some material from out of the compost bin that's not quite ready but I don't want to leave these trenches open so that the rodents uh, get at it and uh, cause a nuisance first job remove the compost from out all four buckets and put it aside for a use uh, somewhere else. These planters have got holes in, they sit on top of the street lighting and that gives me the extra extra depth for my tomatoes to grow in. Now I've cleared all that now all my chard is there but I did put some here just interplant between the uh, tomatoes just for space basically so that there I've now removed and replanted it where the sweet corn was so it's sitting nice in there with all the uh, white fly but there's a fair few pickings on that so shame to waste it lots of shadows today so I do apologize but they the uh, broad beans will go along here. These uh, old pallets are going now and when we go no dig, as you can see my soil's really good. All this extra soil and all the extra compost will uh, be well suited to uh, the no dig. Yeah, that's uh, that little job done, that hasn't took long and uh, with the soil you only get uh, out what you put in and uh, plenty of uh, organic material always helps. Right, I'll go and fetch some leaf mould and a few sticks. With the sun shining as it is, you're not going to see what's uh, actually in the trench so I'll show you before I do. And this is the what I got from my 23 month old leaf mould 
and realistically there's more leaves than twigs but uh, the small ones I'm going to leave in so it looks like we're going to have a barrel full in the bottom of the uh, trench So I'll go and get some material now from out of the uh, compost bin and looking at the screen you can't really see any of that not until the sun gets up a bit more So we've gone down about 18 inches and we've got about 12 inches left So this is the compost bin I've topped this up uh, today and this is um, the older stuff as you can see there's some uh, remains of the uh, giant vegetables in here so I'm going to take the top off this see what we here we've got and get uh, a barrel full of this so I've only had to take uh, a small bit off but you can see the worms are doing their, their work in here and uh, making a good job of it I must say too so let's get a barrel full of this with the worms into the bottom of that trench so there's a bit of everything in here. Uh, I can even remember having some uh, some turf uh, in this corner when I had that uh, marrow growing out of it. So there's a bit of soil and all sorts, uh, but yeah, cracking stuff smells, so it's got to be good. So we now have a nice layer of uh, compost uh, bin in there. It wouldn't normally be ready till uh, next year. But this will finish it off nicely here. And as you know, the broad beans have got decent tap roots and they'll go down and pick up all that energy and possibly warmth. Okay, so now it's time for the structure. I'll see if I can find last year's. It's always well worthwhile putting stuff away. I know this is this one because we've got two short pieces which support the two uh, runners. So it's always well worth putting everything back together again, especially for these little structures we use every year. I've got 24 plants, so I've got 12 canes evenly spaced that side now. So I'll put the remaining on this. Well, that's the structure up and uh, the uh, plastic down for the warp boards so now it's time to get them planted all right we're ready for planting so you can see the roots there uh, and the plant i always plant my uh, bean family into cardboard rolls they seem to be the only vegetable that does any good and as you can see now we're already down eight inches could be 12 inches and they'll start feeding on that compost and goodness uh, straight away and give them a head start before the uh, winter really sets in. So I'll get this one in. And I mustn't forget to uh, get these tied up straight away this time. Lesson learned from uh, last year we've even got the extra growths coming out at the bottom but they're easily damaged as you've just seen with my big fat fingers well that's uh, the broad beans in they do take a while because they're going quite uh, quite deep uh, I've got the plastic bottles on the top one so that we don't take our eye out on the lower ones and the other is to try and keep the pigeons away but for extra protection and over the winter I'm going to surround it now with fleece well that's the fleece on 
Uh, I haven't uh, stapled it down uh, to the bottom because uh, I still can't reach uh, over the top to tie them as they grow. So we can just slide it up at uh, each corner. I've stapled the far corner down so that uh, it doesn't blow away. And you may say, well, why do I actually grow uh, or start the beans off in cardboard rolls mainly because of the mice if we was to plant them directly into the ground here they'd disappear you wouldn't know they disappeared and then it'd be too late to uh, re-sow anymore so now they've got a great chance away from the pigeons away from the mice happy days thanks for watching guys commenting hope you found this useful um, won't be doing the uh, the the, the uh, trenches for the runner beans uh, till later on in the year so I can leave a few of the uh, Swedes in and store some of the others. Till next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now.